Where does brake boost come from? Why is the brake pedal so hard before the car starts? And why can you only step on it after it starts? The secret behind all this lies in the vacuum booster pump. Let's take a minute to learn more about the working principle of the brake vacuum booster pump. Imagine a sealed bottle with a vacuum tube inserted. If you remove the air inside, the bottle will deform instantly. This happens because after creating a vacuum, the air pressure inside the bottle becomes inconsistent with the external air pressure. The external air squeezes into the internal vacuum, causing the bottle to deform. The vacuum booster pump operates on this principle. It has a sealed outer shell with only one vacuum pipe joint. When connected to a vacuum pipe with a one-way valve, and after the engine starts, it extracts air from the booster through this pipe, forming a vacuum inside. Inside the vacuum booster pump are two chambers separated by a diaphragm, but they are connected by a channel. So when the engine starts and without braking, both chambers are in a vacuum state. When the driver steps on the brake pedal, the channel between the two chambers closes and air enters the left chamber. Since the right chamber remains in a vacuum state, pressure builds up in the left chamber. This pressure pushes the diaphragm to the right, and the force from stepping on the brake pedal combines with this vacuum pressure to create a boost. When the driver releases the pedal, a valve piston prevents air from entering the left chamber, and channels between both chambers reopen. The air inside is then evacuated by the vacuum tube, restoring both chambers to a vacuum state. If the vehicle is not started, both chambers of the vacuum booster pump contain air and lack vacuum pressure to assist in pressing the diaphragm. Therefore, it feels very hard to press. Essentially, there is no power assist at this time.